Good evening, campers. It's me, Q. Today we are going to talk about the 1964 science fiction novel, Hard to Be a God. This is the first novel that I have read by the Kirk and Spock of the Russian science fiction author space, Arkady and Baris Strugavsky. But maybe I shouldn't say that because the Strugavskys didn't feel as though they were writing science fiction. Instead, they were writing a special subset of science fiction social science fiction. And thus Hard to Be a God is a social critique. Hard to Be a God is set on a planet under the Arcana Kingdom. The monarchy and rule oversees a society that has not progressed past the medieval period, or the medieval period that we on Earth would equate to. And the eye in which we observe this kingdom and the machinations of power is through Anton. Anton in this book is called Dom Ramata, but Anton's way easier to say, so I'm sticking with that. Anton comes from Earth, and he has assimilated into the society, and in fact, he's a spy, almost. And as I've watched the first season in its entirety of Star Trek, now, Anton is under the Prime Directive. He is not to single-handedly interfere with this society. He, just as the reader, is merely there to observe. And Anton and the reader are going to get frustrated with how the town doesn't seem to progress under a substantial change, but instead begins to recess. We can see where this society is going wrong. In fact, hindsight is always 2020. And the question which the title hits toward is, well, how hard is it to be a god? Anton is the god. In fact, the reader is the god. Not that we are a deity, but we are almost godly with our technical advances, with our societal progressions. Looking back on the society, we see how almost primitive it is. Anton can see, and within his role, he actually knows the straw that is going to break the camel's back here. But despite the intellectual societal and intellectual superiority that Anton has amongst his peers, there's those in powers who hold on to the rain, and they will decide the direction in which the society will go down. And here I deem it necessary to talk about the background of Hard to Be a God, which took influence from when the leader of the USSR, Khrushchev, went to see an avant-garde gallery and art show in, in 1962. Avant-garde work, it feels a little bit redundant to say this, but nevertheless, is quite avant-garde. It can be difficult to comprehend, and Khrushchev seeing this body of work didn't seem to understand what it was trying to do, and therefore ultimately banned it. Khrushchev, who did succeed Stalin, wasn't as censorious as Stalin, but nevertheless censorship was to occur, and it is that person who is in power who is able to dictate the trajectory of all of this. Hard to be a god seems to step back and ask, well, what if society ends up going the wrong way? And here let's talk about the actual beginning of this book, where Anton, I, th I think it's his childhood? And this is where it gets confusing, because he's reenacting the event of the medieval planet. Or is this planet, like the one that Anton will visit in the future, gone through the same machinations, and in some way history is bound to repeat itself? This asks more questions than it does answer. But nevertheless, Anton, in his spiel, ends up going down the path called wrong. Way, and there he sees the deceased body of a German officer. Is it a Nazi? So within Anton's diversion, the Strugassis give us a point to aim for, which is ultimately fascism is going to enter, and under the kingdom we see fascism rise. Someone might ask, why would the Strugavskis write about fascism when they're talking about the communist state of the USSR? And I think it's very clear to understand why. And if you can't answer that, maybe you should look into what happened when people criticised the communist regime in the USSR. TLDR, CBA, bad things. Although the USSR and his antipodal neighbour fascism share more alike than they do in differences. So Anton really has to bite his tongue as he sees these events which he's seen in his past repeat again and again. And he has to stay in the shadows, he has to keep his mission secret. And it was at the emergence of the helicopter that I thought, well do they have to stay in secret. And I'm not sure if the Strugaskis wanted to do this, but there's definitely something about ignorance. To move into cliche, ignorance is bliss, but is there something about seeing something better? Is it about seeing 
progression, but ultimately wanting to ignore it because it might be easier personally for yourself. However, in all the wonderful questions that can be gathered from this, it's quite pointed. There's not really a plot and there's not really any character progressions. It's quite removed in some places, but again, Anton has to be that character. It's a bit dry and a spoon feeds you. It, it's almost like chewing on sand. To be fair, Hard to Be a God is not the pinnacle of the Strugaski's work. Roadside Picnic, I believe, is the one that people go, that's a Strugaski novel. But I'm happy this was my primer for the Strugaskis and I'll give this a four out of ten. A very, it's not a very similar story, but one where a human with a mission engages with a planet, which is ultimately superior to this, is Ursula K. Le Guin's Left Hand of Darkness, and I thoroughly enjoy that novel. But nevertheless, if you like that, maybe pick up this.